Oh, what's going on, guys? I'll crack open a cold one, a little bubbly action for you guys. All right, guys, so what's going on? I thought I'd do something a little bit different for you guys this time. I thought rather than just like film a video, I do the box breakdown with you. We talk about what, what we put in the box, why we put it in the box, and then get your feedback and tell me what you think about it. I'll also give you a sneak peek as to next month's box. You know, as I've said before, right? It's cold water, water temperature's dropping, but it doesn't mean you got to stop fishing. It doesn't. You just got to mix up the baits and you need to really focus on maybe changing the cadence a little bit, right? It's been a long season. The bass have seen the same stuff over and over and over. And uh, it's time to mix it up. So cheers to you guys for tuning in, taking time out of your day. Mm. Let's uh, let's see who's in the chat here. Oh, we got some good people here. Love this. Love this. Um all right, let's break it down. All right. Now, of course, there's the guidebook, okay? And the thing about the guidebook, I watch so many unboxing videos and I watch you guys just take it and they're like, yeah, here's the guidebook and they throw it to the side. I'm like, oh, hold on. The guidebook is is pretty much the key to all of this, right? Because it, it, it whether you're really new to fishing or whether you're like a pro, you're going to pick up one nugget of information. Now, let me clean this off for you. Oh, much better. Um, you're going to get one nugget of information. And, and, and the QR codes to the videos, listen, when you got guys like Mikey Balls dropping bombs on you guys and giving you the information you want, you know it's going to be good. So I encourage you guys to read this. There's always money-saving coupons on the back. Hook yourself up, stickers, all that good stuff. All right. Cold water, cold water. All right. Uh, first and foremost, um, I don't know where to start, so I'm just going to start here. Uh, jerk baits, right? I we all think of jerk baits this time of year. Um, now we send a lot of jerk baits throughout the year, but like again, it's really important to note the difference. Some of them are floating, and some of them are suspended. This time of year, I love a suspending jerk bait. This is brand new for 2024. Uh, we, we worked with Sean Perez, who's the owner of, uh, of bait labs. And I'll be honest, I was talking to him this week and he's like, you know, I've talked to this guy for years and he's like, you do know that I'm kind of a well-known guy in Europe. And I'm like, I had no idea. So he sends me links. This guy's a writer, a well-known fishing personality in, in Germany. And he designs really great baits. So this is a, a bait labs jerk bait. I'm going to open it up for you. And when I think about jerk baits, right, we all, you know, we think about it's the end of the season. Uh, I think they all have stickers in there for you guys, too. Uh, a couple of them, actually. So I love this one. I'm going to show it to you. Actually, I'm wearing the right hoodie for this. Love this presentation. And he calls it the Holo Shiner because it's got holographic uh, paint schemes on this. And this is a suspending version. Uh, it's got three uh, Mustad hooks. And, and I think the key this time of year... Um, the key this time of year is the cadence, right? If you're mixing up the cadence with your jerk baits, right? Yeah, I think I think that's when you start to see success, right? Like I know that every time I'm throwing a jerk bait, and let's be honest with I'll be honest with all you guys, I'm not throwing them as often as I'd like to because I'm busy running a fishing company and not fishing. So uh this one's available in four different colors for us. Uh, this month, and then they'll be available on his website uh, in 2024. But this is a uh, uh, this is a great little three treble jerk bait. Give this one a try. We got some really great uh, videos on this one. All right. So, what do you guys think about the uh, this Bait Labs uh, suspending jerk bait? I'd love to get your feedback. I'd love to know what you think about it because, again. I want to make I want to make the best darn boxes that we possibly can. And this month, it's a cold weather, it's a cold water fishing kit, right? And the cold water fishing kit is to help you catch more fish when the water gets cold. So there's the jerk bait. All right. What else do you guys think? What else do you guys think is uh, a great bait for this time of year? I'm gonna tell you what I think it is. I think it's a lipless. 
This is probably my first introduction. Well, this was my second introduction uh, to hard baits as a kid. I remember the first hard bait that I ever saw was uh, a topwater. And uh, my second was a lipless. And of course, it was a rattle trap because my dad threw a rattle trap, right? But he always told me that the rattle traps are the best when the water gets cold because you can fish them. At, you can just chuck them in, drop it, they'll sink, and you can bounce those things at uh off the bottom you can chuck them and then halfway through give them a jerk let it rip and then they flutter down so uh, or you can chuck it out and then reel it back in really fast and cover a ton of water and uh this month we're giving you a couple different options so i got a yozuri one knock and uh i can show you this one too i mean of course it's going to come in a few different colors and what I like to do is, to be honest with you, I'm going to just tell you about like behind the scenes, how I pick my colors. I try to pick a variety of colors because I know that ultimately you're going to get a couple of lipless throughout the year. And while you may say, well, Rick, I'm not fishing right now. Yeah, but when, in the, when the spring comes, you're going to want a lipless and you're probably going to want it in red like this. This is a great springtime color too. I mean, this is a year round color and this is the Ozuri one knock. What I love is the transition of color from the bottom to the top. It's got this little splash of blue. It actually reminds me of something I'm doing with the new colors in the Ragnar. There's a Ragnar that's coming out, and I love it. It's called, I think it's called Purple Haze, and it's got a splash of, of blue right on the on the on the head. So this is so you're either gonna get a Yozuri uh, one knocker, and or uh, from Arc, we're gonna get a Z63. And uh, again, these are in a variety of different colors. And uh, so this one, I can't even open. Anyways, so here's one. Again, my goal is to make sure you don't get the same one twice. So we're testing out this new software. I want some of you guys to get this because I know we put this, we gave this to some of you guys about, I don't know, six months ago, I think. And, uh, this quickly became one of my favorite lip lifts, if I'm not being, if I'm, if I'm being honest with you. So, uh, yes, this hoodie's on the website. I actually made it for myself because I wanted it. I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone wanted it but me. But that's okay because I got like three of them. I wear them all the time. All right. So, so there you have. There's two lip lifts. You're gonna get one of them. All right. What else do you guys think of? Let's go with uh, Ray. So I was talking with Ray at, uh, at uh, Razor Custom Tackle. Now, I know that we introduced a lot of you guys to Razor Custom Tackle. Um, so Ray is a guy out of the Midwest who makes some really great baits that unless you're on the Midwest Tournament Series – or tours, you probably haven't heard of them because they've got retail placement at uh, Shields. Uh, but Shields, what they do differently is they let you buy. They they buy store to store, so it's not Shields nationwide. It's one or two Shields. So this is a uh, what he calls a late season uh, flipping jig that he loves. And uh, you know, I've had this in and out of the package so many times that I've destroyed it. Uh, let's see if we can get this. Let's see what I can. All right. So this is a uh, his version. And it's a mess. I apologize. But this is a late season flipping jig. And uh, he loves this uh, this time of year. And when I asked him what his one of his two favorite baits were, uh, one of them I couldn't get. And, uh, but he loves craws on the back and you guys can get craws. And then, uh, he said his favorite all time flipping bait is a strike King, uh, rodent. Now we've put the four inch in the packs in the boxes before, but he's, he was very clear that he likes a three inch. And so we went out and we hooked you guys up with a three inch and uh, these pair perfectly together. He said he loves to go uh, uh, flipping around uh, 
docks. He loves to go because especially when uh, when uh, the fish start to go uh, get a little shallow because they're hungry, he's gonna he's gonna look for vegetation and grass. And he's gonna flip it and it, or he's gonna just toss it right out in front of the uh, in front of the grass. And uh, he's going to drag that thing on the bottom, little jerks and things. He said that to himself is what he likes to do. All right, so there's that. Again, one of the things I like to do when we put together these boxes, I, I, I really work hard to make sure that everything pairs together because I think that's important, right? Like, listen, I used to work at Lucky Tack Box way back in the day, and we just filled the box with whatever we could find. And I know that that's how most of them work, and there's nothing wrong with it. But I feel like if we're going to go through the effort to give you a, a, a guidebook that's going to like help you catch more fish when the water gets cold, we might as well give you baits that are designed for when the water gets cold and then make sure everything pairs perfectly so that you guys have, you know, so the box isn't a box, it's a cold water fishing kit. And, you know, so when we theme these boxes out, I probably need to do my best to make sure that you guys know that it's not a box, that it's a kit and that it's a themed, it, it's well thought out, it's intentional. And you guys are going to get what you need. Here's a bait I'm really excited about. And again, it's great for this time of year. Whether you're Texas rigging or whether you're Carolina rigging or whatever you want. Who these smell like? Yeah, whatever. Uh, and these guys have never been in the box. It's uh, Tackle HD. That's uh, a high def craw. And we're hooking you up with a four pack. I'm going to put that out there for you guys to see. And, you know, as you can see, there's a ton of these appendages really, really just like they're moving all over. The action is going to be great. And Daiichi quietly came out with about a year ago a new type of hook. You know, Mustad's done that too. I don't know if you guys have seen the new Mustad. Uh, I think it's called the, the Nano X. I've got some in the other room that we may put in the box this year. But uh, Daiichi came out with the Pro X. And uh, it's got a whole new coating on it. It's stronger. It's stout. It's all the things that, you know, honestly, every hook company is coming out with a new version saying that their stuff is stout. Their stuff is, you know, it is. Listen, at the end of the day, unless you're using garbage hooks, we all have our personal favorites. I can put mustad on and you know what? I'm going to catch the same number of fish as if I use the owner. I honestly believe that, Right. You have your favorites. It gives you comfort. Go with your favorites. I'm giving you these because I want you to try them. And this is a, this is a three yacht, the pro, the brand new Pro X from Daiichi, and um, these pair perfectly with this because the baits, the uh, guys that tackle HD said two to three yacht hook with this thing, uh, Carolina or Texas rig, and so uh, we're hooking you up with everything you need for some late season Texas rig. I don't say Carolina rig all that often because it seems like every time I do, I, I look in the chat and there's somebody already telling me that, like, you know, I'm not a fan of Carolina rig. But there you have it. So these all pair together perfectly. The other cool thing is you can use those hooks on the uh, on the Strike Kings, and uh, you can do the same with those too. So uh, let me see here. Let's put those little bad boys in there. Okay. You're still with me, guys? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Brand new. What's the one bait? And if you got your box, don't say it. But what's the one bait that you think about this time of year? Cold water fishing. The weather's getting cold. What's the bait you're throwing? Again, if you got your box, don't say it. Let me see what do we got here. Fluke. Yep. Faith first says a fluke. Chicken livers. What are you fishing for? Yes. What do we got here? Um, all right. Jig and spoon. Jig and spoon's coming soon. Oh, and you know what's coming? Next. They arrive tomorrow. Anyway. All right. So, uh, brand new for Monster Bass. All right, so let's address the packaging before we get started. I, I placed a couple orders, and uh, hmm. this is a learning moment for you guys. Okay, so I'm building this company. I've never, I've never, you know, 
the manufacturing is a, is a process, you know, you can work with all the bait, all the great bait designers and design great stuff, but then you start to learn about shipping, shipping containers, freight forwarding, um, all the things that come into play. And, uh, and so I've got pack, I've got product now in two different types of packaging because one of my shipments was delayed and everyone's like, well, now I've got old product. Come on. Anyways, I upgraded all the product packaging. I think it's uh, a, a, it's all going to come in the bags because I don't want it to scratch. I want it to look premium because it is premium. Uh, this is the new Monster Bass Flatline. Uh, all upgraded packaging. I'm going to take this one out because I want you guys to see some of the some of the things that we did when we designed this bait. I'm really really proud of it. You know. Most most people, when they think about the subscription boxes and them coming out with baits, they're like, oh, it's just a filler. Listen, we started as a subscription box, but now really what, what we are is a brand in the fishing space. And we're, you know, anyone that's got a lunker stick, if you got a lunker stick, I'd love to hear what you think because, listen, we've made uh, 2,000 lunker sticks and we've had a total of four returned, one of which uh, I think Josh Moody – shut it in a car door. Uh, one of them, there's too much epoxy on the tip and the other two just snapped. Oh, Pelican Bone and one other guy. So I think we make really quality products and we're trying to do that across the board, not just with rods, but baits and everything. So this is the new flat line, right? And you know, when you think of this time of year, we think flat sided crankbaits, tighter wobble, um, give them a little bit of a different presentation, but something accidental happened when we designed this bait. Now, first of all, you're going to notice I changed all the hooks out. These are Mustad short shank hooks. And, uh, you guys can all thank Alex Rudd for that because, you know, a long time ago he said, I want short shank hooks on the, on the bait. So I was like, okay. And then of course, uh, like COVID and backlog. And so as soon as they became available, I made sure I got a, a, a huge inventory. I also increased the sizes a little bit. Uh, we went with a four, uh, a short shank four, uh, for these. And again, with a monster bass red. Now, when we were designing this, I, you know, when the first, first, first pass at this, this came across, and it was all smooth. And I was like, that's cool. But like everybody else puts texture on the baits. So let's put texture on it. And we toyed with where to put the texture. And then what happened was the designer put the texture on it. And what happened was, I guess they were too big. And what, what you see now are these ribbed, is a ribbed belly, right? You can see this, okay? But what, what we didn't know was the ribbed belly was just that they went, they went too deep with the grooves. But the result of that was sound vibrations in the water that the fish can actually pick up. Because we know that bass are smart, right? Bass can, bass can feel and 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 so when this thing's come chugging through the water column right and and the bait with with the ribbed belly is going to emit vibrations that they're going to feel and they're going to react to and when we would pull uh the bait side by side you know one after the other so the one without the rib belly would go through the water we'd measure the sound then when we would bleh, that when we do the one with the rib belly we noticed a big difference. And then in real life situations, it just became more evident. And we believe in this so much that we're going to uh, start modifying all the baits so that we have this ribbed belly. Um, because I think you're, what you're going to notice is you're going to see reaction strikes when normally you may not. And so we're, uh, I'm really excited about this bait. I'm really proud about this bait. It's a, uh, it's a good looking bait. And, uh, I think you guys are going to love this this time of year because, again, cold water fishing, we think of flat side. All right. So, uh, hmm. let's see. Brian Rand, the results are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, we are keeping Raymond McDaniel or McDonald, uh, the Rib Valley's Bass. Look, we're keeping it. We're going to add it to the Seekers. I've got um, – I've got a, a new brand new square bill coming. It's coming in the February or March box. Uh, 
I still don't have a name for it. I'm going to reveal all the names because, you know, we've been sending out soft plastics, and I want to say thank you to everyone that participated in the in the field survey. We are going to reveal the names uh, this week on Monster Bash Live, but the new square bill is coming out. I don't have a name for it. I penciled it in as the, uh, you know, the old square bills, the hammerhead, which I love. Uh, this one's, the, you know, the, the penciled in name is the headhunter. Um, I was trying to find some, some good names, but, you know, I couldn't think of any. Uh, I thought about well, Square Shank Redemption, but like now I'm trying to be too cute. Anyway, uh, so there you have this month's box. I'm hitting you with cold water baits to help you attack every level of the water column and give you the advantage you need, right? You got a flat sided crankbait, you got a jerk bait, you got a lipless, you got something you can Texas rig something you can flip everything's designed to, to go together and you can mix and match and they'll all work together so i feel like um, i was tasked with putting together a cold water fishing kit i think we did the job square gets the circle i would love to know what you guys think about the configuration we put together and then i'm going to share uh I want to share with you guys what um, something that's coming in next month's box. And to let you know, um, I signed the order for the baits. I don't know that we're, or for the uh, bait bags to make the switch from boxes to bait bags. Uh, they're telling me they won't arrive till January 3rd. So the challenge is, do we put them in the January box or do we wait? Um, because the January box, as you guys know, is the Z-Man takeover. I'm super excited because you got a, we got the, uh, we got a jackhammer, the real jackhammer. Uh, we're going to have the Hellraiser. Uh, we're going to have... Everything pairs together. I've already seen the configuration. You guys are going to love it. So it just depends on is the bag coming for January? Is the bag coming for February? I don't know. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Do me a favor. If you like, I'm going to I'm gonna show you some more stuff. But if you like the cold water fishing baits that I put together for this month's kit, please give me a thumbs up. I'm going to go do the thumbs up too. I don't even know if I can. but No, I can't do it. Uh, I would love to know what you guys think. And, uh, and we'll go from there. All right. So next month, next month, I've got, let me see. I got one of the brand new baits from uh, Monster Bass. It just arrived today. Actually, here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you guys next month's box. There's a spinner bait. There's another flat side. There's another suspending jerk bait. There's a blade bait. Uh, there's uh, some offset worm hooks and a couple different packs of soft plastics. And I'll probably throw in something for the holidays just to say thank you guys. Because I really appreciate all your support and everything you're doing. And, uh, you know, I'd love to, uh, I'd love to uh, share that holiday cheer with you. So, listen, like I said, do me a favor, smash the like button. Uh, one of the baits that I'm really excited. I was, I'll be honest. I was nervous to put this in next in the December, uh, the December Platinum kit, um, because of the name on it. And then I sent them out to people, and they were like, "Let's use them. Uh, let's take them out and use them." So okay, so the a bait that's coming in the December box is American Snakehead Customs. This is a $12.99 spinnerbait. And the first thing I saw was the wire, and it's it's pretty heavy duty, right? I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous. I sent them out, and, like, Jeremy Francis tested them. I think the Burley Boys tested them. A few different people tested them. They're like, Rick, these are great. These are stout. Um, you can rip these things. And the blades, those blades are dope. Um, and uh, so you're going to get one of these in next month's box. The other thing you're going to get, uh, they've got a new frog or two. I don't know if you've seen it, but I've been watching people start to drop it. We're going to get that for the summer. Um, 
Bucket Mouth has hooked us up with another frog. Um, so there's a lot of exciting things. Um, they do look like Arrowheads cotton. Uh, but don't worry, it's not the Christmas frog, Tony called it. The Christmas frog. I think it was called Christmas Party Gone Bad. God, that was one of my worst decisions. And I'm grateful you guys like stuck with it through because man, did I not, did I not, can I say it? All the kids are at school, right? Did I not shit the bed on, 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 on fat bastard frogs? God, I love that name. I was like, we should buy, if I, uh, I wanted to buy the company because it was like the name you could do so much. Can you imagine the packaging like this fat frog smoking a hookah or something? I don't know. Anyway. Mm, bubbly blueberry pomegranate bubbly Ugh. all right so there you guys have it um tell me i want to know what you think i want to you know if you liked what you saw give me a thumbs up and now what i want to hear from you guys is how did i do in terms of putting together a cold water fishing kit that's going to help you catch this this time of year or you know simply round out your collection because you know I get it. A lot of you guys, it's all about it's all about the baits. It's all about the baits. Oh, I think you nailed it. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. Uh, Brian, thank you. Thank you. All right. I appreciate the feedback. Um, yeah, I think next next month sounds good too. I can tell you the brands too. Let me see what brands are going to be in next month's box. Oh, there's a few different. Uh, okay. So depending on where in the country you are, American Snakeheads, there's some Strike King, there's some Reaction Strike, Excalibur, the new Monster Bass Five Master Blade Bait. There are some Bio Baits, some Vicious, some Thunderhawks. Mm, some Z-Mans, some VNM, some X-Zone. Man, there's a good, there's a good bunch of stuff. Uh, let's talk about a couple other things. What do you guys think? So, I hear people talk about uh, the shipping, and it seems like no matter who we use, like some of you like DHL, some of you hate it. Some of you like FedEx, some of you hate it. Some of you like UPS, some of you hate it. And I feel like maybe what I need to do is give you guys the option to select your own. Like, would that be of interest if I said, all right, I'm going to have to charge you Whatever, I'm charging you. Charging you for shipping. But you get to pick. And for, say, two bucks more, you get it in two days. Is that of interest? Like, maybe. Yeah, it does. It depends on the root driver. It's uh, it's it's tough. Like, blind eye fishing's right, right? DHL sucks for him. FedEx is faster for him. But I go to, like... Like, and, and truth be told, if, if you look at the analytics, DHL is by far the best, but the best across the country. Like pick any 10,000 shipments and DHL beats all of them. It's so weird to me, but yet like, you know, whatever. anyways, all right, guys, uh, I said, I was going to keep this to 30 minutes. Um, I appreciate you guys staying on with me and, um, yeah, make sure you guys tune in to uh, Monster Bass Live on uh, Wednesday. We're going to reveal the uh, the names of the some of the soft plastics. Mm, we'll probably go through some of the names that we didn't pick, but clearly some of you guys were uh, wanting to make my the soda spit out of my mouth because uh, your names were a little outrageous. Um, yeah. So uh, thank you, uh Carnal is 619. I probably got it wrong, but um, there you go. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.
And uh, thanks for tuning in. Let me know in the comments, did you guys like me breaking down the box like this and doing it live with you guys and, and walking through it? Because I'd love to know. Because if you loved it, let's do it again. We'll do it again next month instead of you having to watch a video. So thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot, guys. See you Wednesday at live.